Hey everyone, and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today we're going to be continuing our July birthday month design featuring the water lily. So yesterday's video, I had put down the background of water lilies in the lake, and I am using a magnet this time, and I wanted to create a flower feature on my middle finger here. So... Um, I took the other side of the magnet, um, the other end of these pair of magnets, and um, I'm placing it on some nail form backing and applying um, some clear poly gel over the magnet and just rubbing that in with a little bit of base coat. So after curing that, I'm picking it up and I've made this little disc here. I'm just going to seal it in with more base coat and just nail cleanse the sticky layer off. And then um, after placing it on my nail, I'm gonna take some poly gel and uh, white poly gel by Gelish and I'm just gonna uh, rub that in and have it act as my base because I am going to be um, laying down some petals here to create my flower. And going in with some, um, I actually have nail cleanser this time. Um, I originally was thinking about using top coat, and then I realized that like um, when I cure this, the clear coat is going to be everywhere. So um, I switched to nail cleanser. I actually ran out of slip uh, the end of last year um, when I told you guys that I was just using up the poly gel. Um, I did have some left, but I definitely didn't have a uh, slip left, but as you can see here, I'm using, um, the nail cleanser to smooth this poly gel down. So I'm just creating these petals. We're going to stack them on this, uh, platform that we made, and I'm just going to make a bunch of these. So in case you guys are wondering, um, towards the end of the video, uh, I started out doing a um, water lily flower on this base and I wasn't satisfied with it and um, it's very rare. This is probably the first time that I've done something that I definitely did not like and I um, clipped it off and I started all over. Um, but it's just very hard if you look at a the water lily petals they're like sticks and for something just so micro um, I had to make these tiny sticks out of these poly gel um, out of the poly gel so uh, just putting it all together uh, and it just didn't look right to me and I couldn't put that out for you guys so <laughs> uh, I'm using larger petals uh, with this trial run here and it came out great so we're just going to move forward with these um, larger petals and so um, if you guys ever feel like um, doing your own flower uh, you can use this as a how-to for you <laughs> but um, you don't need to go insane with it you just gotta Think like a petal so I'm just um, brushing out one end and making a point with the other end and um, we're going to be sticking this onto the platform so um, it may look like nothing now but it's it's definitely going to look really nice and I feel like the way that I'm doing this here and spreading out that one end it definitely um, gives a really good uh, random identification to these petals like as if you were to see a real flower um, you know they're not always cookie cutter well they're not at all actually cookie cl uh, bleh, cookie cutter round shaped I mean they are to a point but if you really look closely there's rippling in the petals there's veins going through it so this brush right here that's um, pushing this poly gel uh, the bristles are acting as um, tools to indent the little lines on the poly gel making it look like uh, the veins of a petal so after curing that um, I'm using how um, lucky I am to get this gelish um, touch uh, 
touch lamp. What is this thing called? Anyway, um, I bought the I bought it. It came with the um, soft gel kit by Gelish, and um, I'm using it to adhere these petals because I don't want to keep sticking my hand in under the lamp. It just uh, this this way is quicker, and I just need a flash cure it. Um, to the point where it stays up on its own. So as you can see here, I'm just taking the petals and circling it around this base. And then as I finish a ring, I'm just going to go in and um, stagger the petals. Um, and it ended up coming out pretty cool. Um, I'm using a base coat to hold uh to fuse these pieces in place and the great thing about it is that um it doesn't have to lie flat like I'm putting a little twist lifting it off a little bit giving it some height that way it, it's all not just lying flat on each other and I love how um there's different it's magnetic so you could put it on anything putting it on my finger right now is helpful I mean, if you don't want to do that, you can put it on the end of your um, poly gel spatula side um, of a poly gel brush. I've done that a bunch of times. Um, I actually, since I use the cat's eye magnet, I actually put it on the circle end and it sat there pretty nice. So um, you can use a lot of things around your um, work area. Um, to get what you need done. That's what I have to do. You know, I don't have much. Um, so I have to improvise when I'm doing something different or if I need help holding things. But yeah, as you can see here, we're just going to keep circling around till we get tight into the center. And again, I wish it would have worked out with the actual lily petals, but um, at the end of the day, I needed to put out something, but put out something that was nice. So um, I think this came out really, really nice. <laughs> and I might use it again in a, in a different design. I save all my magnets, so if you've seen my previous videos... Um, please share, like, and subscribe um, to um, see the past videos and the future videos that I will end up posting, including this one. Um, but in my past videos, I've done, uh, as I mentioned yesterday, like the snow globe magnet. Um, I had my Thanksgiving um, dinner magnets. Um, I've had... I had the butterfly magnet on there, and um, in fact, I left the butterfly magnet in my car for the longest time, and I forgot to take it back in to the apartment and just keep it safe in a safe area, so I, I took it, and I was like, oh shoot, you know, where am I going to put this thing, because I don't want to crush it, I just put it back on my my finger. <laughs> So luckily, you know, I had this design to put it on, but I'd been meaning to put it away. But, um, you know, I could see myself maybe taking them out someday and, and um, reusing them for something, you know. So, and I love that too, just because this is just so different. I love the magnetic anythings that I've seen on Amazon. Um, it's... Uh, it's such a difference and you don't have to keep it. Anything that is temporary is um, pretty good for me. So um, I can have something like this uh, when I know I'm not doing anything and when I need to have my hands functional and not worry about messing up with my nails, I can just take it off. So I'm just taking some Born Pretty stamping polish and um, I'm just lining the edges with this. Um, I'm adding nail cleanser to dilute the paint a little bit and um, this will keep it from getting a, a harsh lines when you paint them on there. I want these to blend um, with the 
uh, into the, the petals. So after I do each petal, I actually um, went back in with some more nail cleanser um, that you'll see in a minute. And a little bit goes a long way, so, um, you know, you always want to use your uh, materials um, efficiently, I guess. <laughs> As you see here, I'm now, like, uh, taking some nail cleanser to the petals and just softening those lines. Uh, sometimes I don't get to all of them so this make, ensures that I do. So I'm taking some Nourish Cuticle Oil by Jellish and I'm just rubbing this into each finger and then this will take us to our reveal. And here is my July birthday month uh, nails featuring the July flower, the water lily, I've completed this design. I mean, I'm so happy that I did because I've been without this flower for um, half of the week. So it's really nice to um, be able to not have a silver dot just arbitrarily stick out from my nail. So um, it's really nice. As I said, like it, it's not the water lily exact, uh, exactly, but um, it looks pretty... Um, it looks pretty nice to me and you can see like the spots where um, I had did the cat's eye it looks like these petals are just sitting on top of them and this lily sitting on top of the lily pads and these I I love the the dark and the light so this uh, design came out so good to me. And here's just a close-up of that flower. As you can see, like I said, it's just not, it's not perfect. It's supposed to be, um, you know, a little rough around the edges. Um, and it just, it all blends really well. It's, it's really good. And here's taking off the magnet with the lily pad floating in the water. And then the flower on the lily pad. <laughs> well, there you have it. This is Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos. And join me this weekend when we continue my July birthday month long <laughs> design. Thanks. Bye.